Hello again. Well, it's time for some more wildlife back here in my garden. Now, you might have noticed that it's a bit later in the day than I normally film these videos. And the reason for that is that today I'm interested in trying to see some wildlife that only visits my garden at night. And the creatures I'm interested in, once I've gone to bed, they'll probably fly in here and maybe visit some of the flowers that I've got. You might have to think what they could be. And while you're having a think, I need to just go down to my shed because in order to see these, I need to get a special piece of equipment. And here it is. So you're probably wondering what on earth a big red book it is going to do to help me see some creatures that are going to come out at night. Well, as you probably guessed, the things I'm interested in are moths. And this is a moth trap. But don't worry, it's not going to hurt them. I just need to go and get it set up and I'll show you how it works. So I've uh, decided I'm going to put the moth trap here. I thought I'd just explain how this is going to work. So as you can see, it has this cone shape on top. Now, on here, we need to put a really bright light. Now, I have got a, a light called a mercury vapour, but when I've tried that in my garden, it's so bright that it pretty much lights up everyone's house all the way around me, so I, I can't really use that one. So I've got another one that uh, sends out an ultraviolet light. I think I'll use that. So the light goes on there, and during the night, the moths will be attracted to the light. No one really knows why uh, they come to light. I always think if they like light that much, why don't they come out in the day? But for some reason, they do that. So the moths will fly around, and then they'll drop into here. And if you can, might be able to see there, the hole at the bottom is quite small. So as they slide down there, they drop into that hole. And then as you can see at the side, there's like a, a ring here, a collar of see-through. So when they try and get out again, they try. They come up here. Obviously they can't get through that. Um, so they're trapped inside. But obviously they're going to be in there all night then. And it doesn't harm them. They just sort of rest there uh, until the morning. But to make it a little bit better for them, what we can do is here I have some egg boxes. And if I put these inside and fill the bottom with these egg boxes like that and these little bits here as well just try and get as many of those in as I can and then put the collar back on what I've done there is made a nice little safe space for them to hide in and in the morning when it does get light they'll just hide away in between the bits of those egg boxes there and be perfectly safe and then once we've had a look at them tomorrow we can let them go. So I need to put the collar back on and now I just need to get the light to put on top and we're ready to go. So I've got it all set up now. I've just put the light on top uh, and I've added in these fins here so as the moth comes spinning round they hit those and drop into through the hole at the bottom there. Um, all I need to do now though, there's no point putting it on yet because it's not dark yet, so what I need to do is go and set the timer um, so it will come on maybe about 9 o'clock when it's dark and then we just need to wait for morning. So I've just popped out here to have a quick look at the moth trap so you can see it. There's actually a bat flying around out here. Maybe just about make that out. You can see the bright light that's on there. <clears throat> Not much there yet. A few flies, but we have to wait a bit longer and come back in the morning to see what's been caught in there.
Right, well, I've um, I've been out earlier on this morning and I've taken all the light and the electrics off and I've put the trap here in the shade a little bit so we've now got the catching part that we can open up and see what's in. So I really like this bit, it's like opening a present on your birthday. You never know what's going to be in. Although I think, seeing as our last night was quite cold in the end, I think don't think there's going to be a great deal in here but let's give it a go. So just take the funnel off and have a look if there's anything that's oh I'll take that bit off. Have a look if there's anything that's gone onto the uh, egg boxes. Look at this one. Take them out really gently. Check both sides. Hmm, nothing. That's not a good start, is it? Uh, oh, hold on. We have something here. So here we have a shuttle shaped dart which is a I suppose it's a little bit dart shaped but you might just be able to see on its wings there's two tiny little shapes on each wing little thin oval shapes that are supposed to look a bit like the old fashioned shuttles they used in the cotton mills right so let's keep looking hmm nothing oh dear look again more nothing. Come on, I must have something in here. Hmm, it's not looking good, is it? Oh, hold on, I see something. But it's not a moth. Now this is actually a type of beetle called a maybug. So this can't really imagine, can you? But this actually did fly in there last night. Oh, he's just getting his amazing antennae out. Look at those. Can't really imagine that flying, but a little bit like you might have seen a ladybird on the back there, is it? Wing cases, and they open up and the wings come out. That is one amazing looking creature, isn't it? Now, you might have found these around your house, and I know at school we get them sometimes near the security lights. If you have an outside light, it's probably worth checking to see if there are any of these at the moment. And as the name suggests, they do actually come out in May. Well, that's good, wasn't it? So let's have a look. Oh, see if there's anything else. Oh, right. Here we have an absolutely tiny little moth. Now that is a micro moth, and it actually doesn't have an English name. It only has a scientific name, and that is Tachystola acroxantha, which is an absolutely ludicrously long name for such a tiny moth. And there's another one of the micro moths I just mentioned on there. That's all. Ooh, last one. I can see something on it. Have a marbled minor moth. Oh, and, oh yes, this, which is called an older kitten. I'm not sure that looks much like a kit to me, but... I know the people that named all these moths had to really use their imagination and they were coming up with new names I think. But that is one beautiful moth isn't it? Well that's the best one, save the best one till last. Well, that wasn't bad in the end was it, for a pretty cold night, it just shows you but even while you're asleep in bed, there can be all sorts of wildlife coming to your garden you don't even know about. So, now all I need to do is just let all these little guys go, and uh, I'll see you again in the next video.